What's up, YouTube? Here I am again with another fixer upper. The other day I went to Goodwill and I found this 47 inch LG television. Model number is 47LN5200, manufactured October of 2013. So it's about four years old. And I only bought it for 20 bucks at Goodwill. And the problem with this one is, like so many others I've found on YouTube, is that the backlight doesn't work. When you initially turn on the TV, there's a brief flash and nothing else. There's picture. You could use the flashlight trick and there's definitely picture just no backlight so I just wanted to show the layout of this television so there's really just three boards the power supply the video board over here and the T-Con over here so it's pretty sparse so that's how the, the power supply looks like Cheap Suscon capacitors all over. Here's the main video board. And the LCD panel is LC470DUE. So now I'm going to measure the voltage output to the LEDs. With this particular power supply, there are two outputs to the LEDs. And when I turn on the television, you'll notice the backlight flash through these holes over here, this one, and over here. You'll see a quick flash. And when it flashes, you'll notice the, uh, a voltage peak, and then the voltage will quickly go down. And since this is a cheap multimeter that I have, it doesn't capture the, the the voltage very quickly. So sometimes you'll see 83 volts, sometimes 35 volts. So, but, but it doesn't matter what voltage uh, it shows. What's important is that there's actually power coming out of this uh, output over here. Now, if there wasn't any voltage coming out, then we know that the power problem probably resides in the power supply. But in this case, I know there's power output and the problem probably resides in the LED. So now I'm going to measure the voltage output. Now I'm going to turn on the television. There's a quick flash in the voltage. It shows 35 volt and then it quickly goes down. Turning off the television and let's do it one more time. Turning it on. Now the 35 volts. Turning off the television. Now I'm going to measure the other side. Turning on the television. So I saw briefly 20 volts over there. So at least we know there's power going out to the LEDs and the LEDs are actually turning on even though it's briefly. So now I'm going to open this thing up and see how the LEDs look like. So here's the shot of the backlight LED and I inspected each uh, strip and I only found one LED that was burnt out. It's this one. I've already taken out the lens diffuser. So you can bar just barely see the, the lower part is all burnt up. And I've marked it with a red X. And to test the each strip I didn't have a proper power supply, so I used a 
a computer power supply. So I used a 12 volt output to test each half strip. So here's like one of the, <laughs> one of those ATX floppy, floppy drive terminal. So I used that, I jerry rigged that. So I, I used that to, to contact each of these terminals, each half strip and tested them that way. So each, each strip like this lower one, this one has four LED perhaps uh, on this half strip. And then the next one up has five uh, LED. So when I tested that with the 12 volt power supply, the light was faint. So I marked it with an F. So I thought maybe that was bad, but then I realized it was faint because it had that extra LED five as opposed to the four on the bottom. So this one I marked G for good. Then this one also had a four LED, so I marked it with the G. This one was a bad strip with one burnt LED. Next one was G, good, four LED. The top one. I marked with an F because it was faint because it had a five LED. But then I realized, yeah, it was faint because it had that extra LED and my power supply was only 12 volts. So all of this tested the same. And then at some point I had to test individual LEDs as well. So I used this this double A, I don't know what you call it, adapter or battery pack and connected two double A's, rechargeable double A battery and tested each individual LED. So here's a macro shot of the burnt LED. I used the macro lens on top of my uh, camera to get a close up shot. So you could see where the the lower part of the LED is all burnt and scorched the plastic uh uh spacer. Otherwise the yellow part looks still looks alright. It doesn't look brown. It's just the the lower part, the, the terminal, it's all burnt. 